backyard! Last summer, most of you probably saw we did a deck on my house. Well, this summer, Sam bought a house, so we're doing his backyard. Welcome to my backyard. So when we bought this house, we absolutely loved the idea of having this great backyard space. And we have this very sad looking, what would you call it? I don't even know what to call this, like canopy? It, it came with the house, so it's been fine. Shade is shade, but it's pretty ugly. So we're gonna move that thing out of the way. Ugh. So while this patio is great, all of this is settled and super uneven. I've almost broken my ankle on this twice. So we're gonna tear all this out. We're gonna pour ourselves a new slab and we're even gonna try that stamped concrete stuff you can see in all of the place. One more thing we wanna do is extend the pad out. Now we're gonna pull this out here about what? Eight more feet. And then we're gonna actually build a kitchen for all of Sam's barbecue needs out here. Pit Boss is hooking us up again this year, which is awesome. And they just released a brand new removable uh, griddle system. So we're gonna put one of those in. Hibachi life. Hibachi life. We're gonna get an egg, as well as Sam's got a couple other smokers. So we're gonna turn this into a meat sweat sort Palooza. of. Yes, or a, a meat sweat like sort of oasis. Got the meat sweats. Which should be pretty good. We're gonna build this one different than we built my kitchen. We're gonna do some metal studding. We're gonna do some uh, different yes. type of Stone facade. And we're gonna do pour in place concrete countertops. Yes. The last thing is replacing this canopy with a pergola. If we could find affordable materials, because right now is the absolute worst time ever to buy wood. If we don't get to that though, we're gonna redistribute the money we were gonna use on it into some other places clean this thing up and Sam and his wife should have an incredible backyard. Wait, we forgot something. Pit Boss rules and once again, they wanna give you guys the opportunity to win one of those brand new griddles I just talked about. You're gonna to have to wait till later in the video to learn how to enter. Sam's picking up the back go? Mini X, something like that, which means we gotta get this patio cleaned up. Jordan, bust out the muscles. <laughs> Looks like we found a local football coach to come help us today. He just needs free. a whistle. Can you take that up there? Got the firm grips on the net. I heard you guys need to dig. <laughs> so I may have a very large and wide back. Shame what she used to be. We're gonna use this. This is the smallest ex excavator I think I've ever seen. And uh, see if it'll help us out with this one. Same Malecki drive it. Don't we have to undo it from the truck? Yep, skin squirrely. All right, it should tilt now. Um. They didn't tell me that, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, papers are up and boob sweat is pouring. I've already sweated through one pair of pants and good news I only brought one, so we may go pants this later today. He's into it. We gotta get these concrete pads up. We're gonna try to just lift them out of place first. Hopefully they're not tied into anything foundational. If not, things are gonna get very, very squirrely, very, very fast. Sam's not here, so I'm gonna take the reins on just absolutely destroying anything I can before he comes back and judges us. Let's get it. Call this technique hammer and scrub. Get in there, boy. So before we start digging, we're going to pull the pad size, so that way we're not digging all over the place. I need Sam to choose, because it's his house. 22 is the move. What up, bra? You trust this guy right there? Let's get digging, you son of a bitch! Praise hell, praise hell!
mother -er. In times like these, there's only one thing that can make everything happening right now more awesome. And that's tacos, obviously. So I'm super stoked that we're partnering up with Pit Boss again on this entire series. Now you guys can win one of these 1150 grills. I'll tell you how you can enter at the end of this video. But the boys are hungry, I'm always hungry. So we're gonna get to cooking. Thank you Pit Boss for sponsoring this series. Let's go feed these boys. So for those of you that don't know, that's Sam's grill, because we're at Sam's house. And we also have the same one at the shop, because that 1150 is killer. And like I said, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can enter to win one. And we're gonna actually be giving away three different Pit Boss products in this series. So make sure you're subscribed. Now uh, I'm gonna eat, and then we gotta get back to work. I mean, I got like two huge scoops. I was feeling, feeling myself. Hi there, this is Sam Green. I just picked up a uh, Vermeer walk behind uh, okay. track loader. It threw a track. Any suggestions on getting it back on the track? Um, well, you have to, I don't know if you have any wrenches or anything there, Sam. Uh, I mean, I've got like a, like a mechanics, like regular socket set, but I don't know. I wasn't even sure where to start. You know, you have to back the adjustment nut off of it. It sucks the idler in. Right, is that this giant uh, three quarter inch maybe? I think so. On the, it's sort of uh, standalone. Yeah, between the tracks, there's a, and then there's a spring in front of it. And you just need like something to, you know, pry the track right over the front sprocket. Sam's now had done it twice and I've done it once. Broke the stand-on loader. Um, <laughs> formerly known as the Dingo in videos of the past. Dingo could arguably be the best name ever. So we've resorted to digging the hole by hand until it can bring us another one. Uh, which, which means this could turn into a grave site. So we just gotta keep pelting away. Don't get discouraged when machines break. Remember, your shovel is your measuring. Humans were doing this shit before that stuff existed. And the pyramids are there! I don't want to hear no alien bullshit. Definitely was aliens though. Definitely was aliens. The heart. demo we fortunately didn't hit any terribleness while we were doing this we were expecting a gas line over here an electrical line over here I was expecting this entire wall to cave in uh, none of that happened so we're looking pretty good uh, next video we're on to gravel and pouring the concrete we've never done concrete stamping before but if you want to enter to win a ridiculous prize pack from Pit Boss. We've got a griddle a vertical smoker a horizontal smoker and this massive massive prize pack uh, all you gotta do is comment down in the description boob sweat because this has been maximum boob sweat today like this video and we'll see you on part two